Hey, kid. You want to be invisible? Yeah, I saw on the internet about someone who made one of these things. They use lots of complicated, like, plastic and stuff, but you don't need all that. They're super easy to make, and you can do it for, like, free. This was this cost me nothing, so here's how to make them. First thing you're going to need is a TV. Now, I know what you're thinking. Hey, aren't TVs expensive? I'm not talking about a working TV. I'm talking about literally any TV. People throw them out all the time, and if they're less than a foot thick and, like, 10 years old, they'll probably work for this and the bigger the better. Next, you're gonna take that thing inside and tear it apart. Now, this seems kinda of tricky, but really it's just a matter of patience. Really, you're not trying to keep the TV working, you're not trying to do anything fancy other than get to the screen. So just get a screwdriver and start unscrewing things, just take it one thing at a time. If something's not coming off, there's probably another screw holding it down and just keep unscrewing and unscrewing and unscrewing, eventually you'll get to the screen. When you do, you're going to find a few different layers. The first layer is going to be the main screen of the device. You can toss that aside. You don't need that. And underneath, you're going to find a sandwich of thin layers. Two of them are going to be this translucent, hazy material. You don't want that. You want the super shiny one in the middle. This is called a Fresnel lens, and it's used by the TV to like make all the light make a picture. And you'll notice that when you bend it around an object, tends to make that object look like it disappears. It's doing this by just reflecting the light from the surrounding areas into the front, and I'm sure someone smarter than I can could explain it to you. Now it's time to make a shield out of this thing. You're gonna need a piece of paper or a piece of cardboard, anything that you can write down on. And you're gonna take an object and place it down onto that piece of paper. I'm using my camera screen for this, but you could use a mirror. You're just gonna put the lens down in front of that object and bend it towards you until that object disappears. When that object looks to have disappeared, that's the shape of the curve that you want your shield to be in. So you're gonna mark off where those bottom two corners are, and then you're going to take a ruler and draw a straight line in between those two points. This is an important measurement for the next step. Now you're gonna go grab some packing tape and some wire. Kinda any materials will work for this, depending on how light and thin and flexible and, and all that stuff. I am just using some aluminum wire and some packing tape. I wanna keep this as cheap as possible. Using your measurement, you're gonna cut three different lengths of wire. They should overhang a little bit from your measurements to either side, about an inch or two. Then you're going to center each wire onto that mark and you're gonna mark off how far it overhangs from the edge. We're gonna be bending these and we want the non-bent part of the wire to be the length of that line you drew. Now cut two more pieces and those are gonna be as long as the vertical sides of your shield. Now get your packing tape and just tape those longer wires onto the vertical edges of the shield. Now take your shorter wires and bend each side that you marked off into like a hook and you're gonna loop them through the two vertical wires, one in the middle, one at the top, and one at the bottom. These are going to hold your shield into that shape that you figured out earlier, so that way it'll stay put and anything you put in front of it will appear to be invisible. And that's it, congratulations, you made yourself an invisibility shield. Now of course, you can put as much work and effort and care into your invisibility shield as you would like. I just wanted to show you the bare bones of this effect and hopefully inspire you to give it a shot because you don't need a lot to make it happen. So. There you go, that's how you make one of these, not super complicated. If you do wanna use them, they do reflect things that are back into the sides, so they work best with things that have like parallel lines going behind you or like foliage, things that will discombobulate the eye. It's more camouflage than anything. But there you go, that's how you have some fun if you wanna mess around in the yard or, you know, do other stuff if you're um, Ukrainian. Anyway, yeah, these things are fun and you can make them as big as you want, so. Go out, get yourself a big old TV that doesn't work, and, I don't know, hide yourself, I guess. All right, that's all I got. See you guys later. Links and stuff below, and I love you. Bye.